What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the Nintendo Switch and what you can do and what you can try if your Nintendo Switch is not charging properly. Let's get right into this. So in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you some quick and easy things to try. Instead of taking your Nintendo Switch in for repairs, this could save you some money. So the first thing, it's going to sound like common sense, and that is to make sure you're using an official Nintendo Switch charging cable. It does come with the Nintendo Switch whenever you buy one, but if you do need a replacement, you can get one off of Amazon or Nintendo themselves. They can sell you it. It's a little bit more money through Nintendo, but you can get it on Amazon and other places. Third party ones can work but it's known that they can wear out the battery and wear out the console over time. I don't know how much of that I actually believe in, but if you are having problems with it charging, I do recommend at least trying an official Nintendo Switch cable and seeing if that works for you. It should, and hopefully it does. Now, there also is other things that you can try. First, if you are using an original cable, make sure that there is no damage in the charging ports of your Nintendo Switch or in the base if you are using a base where the cable connects to the base and then the console just slides into it. Make sure there's no damage in either one of those spots. Make sure everything looks normal, nothing's out of the ordinary for it. If everything's fine there, then there might need to be a hard reset, which is very easy to do on the Nintendo Switch. All you're gonna do whether you have it connected or not. Granted, if there is no power in this, it will not work It hard resets. You will have to have it connected to either the cable or in the base like so. But what you are going to do is press and hold the power button for 15 seconds. You're gonna count it, then you're gonna release it, and then you're gonna press it like normal when you're turning on the console. Now, before you do this, unlike the PS3 or the PS4, whenever you have to do a reset on that, and you press and hold the power button for however long you're supposed to, and it beeps to let you know to let go of the power button, this will not beep, there's no notification, there's no sound, you will have to count the 15 seconds, and then let go, and then press the power button again. So keep that in mind. So you're gonna press and hold the power button, you're gonna press and hold it, keep holding it for 15 seconds, after the 15 seconds you're gonna let go, and then you're just gonna press the power button like normal. This is just doing a hard reset on the console. In most cases, that will uh, have it turn on. Now, if you have a Nintendo Switch like this, the original one, then there is one more thing that you can try. If you only have a Nintendo Switch Lite, those are your options other than doing a factory reset, whether you're doing one that doesn't wipe everything off or you're doing a full one, those are your other options, but I'm not gonna be sharing that in this video. It's gonna be a future video that I talk about how to factory reset the Nintendo Switch. So if that didn't work for your Nintendo Switch Lite, I do recommend checking out that video in the future of how to factory reset your console. If it did work, great. If you do have a Nintendo Switch original like this one here, and everything that I shared so far didn't work, there's one other thing to keep in mind for it. Now, when you have a Nintendo Switch like this, the one that the Joy-Cons can be removed, it is known that there is a glitch or a delay between the console charging and the Joy-Cons charging. Technically, how it's set up here and how it's supposed to work is when you connect it to the base and you have the console on it and both Joy-Cons, everything is supposed to charge at the same time. That way, whenever you're ready to game, you just take it off and you can game. The Joy-Cons are charged, the console is charged. But there is a delay or a glitch uh, that can occur. Nobody knows why, nobody knows how to prevent this. It's just something that does happen. If that is what is happening to your console, an easy fix for you is to simply remove both of the Joy-Cons that are, for whatever reason, preventing the console from charging and the only thing that's being charged is the Joy-Cons itself. Remove them and leave the console plugged in for one hour to three hours. One hour should be enough juice to test it to make sure it is work. Three hours should bring it to an almost full charge, so keep that in mind. But you will disconnect the Joy-Cons here and you're gonna leave it charged for an hour. Then you're gonna put the Joy-Cons back on it, try to turn it on, 
And if it all worked, if that was the issue that you are having, the Nintendo Switch should turn on and it should be somewhat charged depending on how long you left it like this to charge. Because I don't know, for whatever reason, there's that glitch that when these are connected to it, sometimes that the, the only thing that will be charging is these. The console itself, there's a delay or a glitch that will prevent it from charging, but your Joy-Cons will be charged. So just simply remove them, leave it to be charged, and then try it later. So if none of that works, unfortunately, you might need to do a factory reset or worst case scenario, there might be a bigger problem. You might have to take it in somewhere to get repaired. But by doing one of these options or trying them all to see if one of these easy, quick solutions work for you that don't cost you anything, in a lot of cases, these will work for most people and it will fix the issue when it comes to charging. Now, if it didn't work for you, I am sorry, but there is just so much that I can share in a video and I like to do quick and easy fixes. I'm not 100% tech savvy. I know I can't go and take it apart and diagnose it, stuff like that. That's when you need to take it in for repairs. But I do recommend checking out some of these easy quick fixes first because who knows, they might just solve your issue and it's not gonna cost you anything. And in a lot of cases, these do work for a lot of people. So hope this has helped you fix your Nintendo Switch and get it to finally start charging once again. In a lot of cases, this glitch isn't something that Nintendo announces or that Nintendo might even be aware of, but a lot of the community are now, so I did want to make a video sharing that, but also sharing that you should be using a Nintendo Switch official charging cable, not a third party, just in case there's some error or loss in connection there and making sure the ports and everything are good and also doing the hard resets might help you get it back online as well. So I'm going to leave this video here. I hope this has helped. If it did, please leave a like, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.